I've always matched from GalaxyS2Root.com for this week's ROM of the week. Let me go ahead and recommend you a nice ROM called C-ROM. Uh, this I've covered before, I believe, and uh, the latest version is better than ever. Uh, previous versions were very feature-packed, um, you know, but uh, C-ROM just started making ROMs. But now the latest version is very, very stable. I really like it. Um, based on the latest Android 4.4.4. Uh, this is actually a GTI 9100 ROM, so you can go ahead and install on GTI 9100. Um, I've got it installed on my AT&T Galaxy S2. Uh, if you install Shift Kernel, you'll be able to use it with your AT&T Galaxy S2 also. Um, let me go ahead and show you some of the cool stuff with this ROM, starting with the camera. Um, you'll be using, uh, if you use the micro Google Apps, um, which was which is the only thing actually you can use, you can't use the standard. Um, you'll get the regular standard AOSB camera, uh, which is nice, which works flawless out of the box, works quite well. Um, and photos work great. All right. And if you want additional cameras, you can go ahead and grab the Google camera off the Play Store after you install the ROM, uh, which works also flawless out of the box, which is very nice. Um, so you have. Uh, you'll have the ability to enjoy uh, both the AOSB camera, uh, the Google camera with photosphere panorama lens blur. Um, let's go ahead and go look at some of the stuff you can do. Uh, DSP manager, of course, you can use to tweak your sound, but I do recommend Viper for Android it is like 100 times better. Um, if you go into settings, this is where you can personalize all of your um, features, customization options. Now, for those of you who know how to do this, you can probably skip this, but I'm gonna go ahead and go over everything. For those of you who don't know, um, now here, you'll be able to uh, mess with your interface here. Um, you can go ahead and add your favorite shortcuts here. Um, so let's go ahead and add screenshots, and also you can add screen recording. Whatever you add will show up on your power menu there. So you can easily take a screenshot, uh, record your screen, all that good stuff. Driving mode is interesting. Um, you can go ahead and use Google text-to-speech engine there. Uh, this will allow you to um, enable uh, speaking for incoming calls, messages, read out. I know some, some of this uh, you may want to watch out for. I know um, one of my friends had this happen and uh, it was actually um, speaking out one of the messages from one of his mistresses. Anyway, um, I'm sure you know, uh, none of you guys like to do that, so, but I'm just telling you. Um, that's what, I, what can happen. System animations, you can go ahead and customize all of your favorite system animations. Let's go ahead and uh, just change one of these. Uh, pass close, meh, actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and change it again. Um, activity close, I think, slide and left, is that it? There we go, now it slides and left, because that's an activity close. Um, also, recent panel, you can change the recent styles. Uh, this is when you hold down the home button, a recent panel there. Um, you can switch it to the slim style, which I actually don't like. I like the regular style better. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you. That's a slim style there. Um, let me go ahead and unclear that. And that will reset the UI. Um, that's why it's a little bit slow there. Uh, you can change the clear all button position, so whether you have it right-handed or left-handed, you can have it where you, your thumb can easily reach. So it's at bottom left, which is probably not ideal, so I can get it to bottom right. And now I'll be able to reach it easily there and just click that button. Let's go back into, let's go back into settings there. Ah, there we go. Uh, C dash tool and uh, let's go into status bar, see what we can do there. A uh, battery icon, you can go ahead and change this battery icon um, to all of these different ones. All right, let me change it to that. Um, you can also change the color if you want to, pretty simple stuff. Uh, you can enable battery bar, uh, put it in different locations. Let me change the color of it to red here. Um, tap of nav bar, status bar, there we go. Now you see the battery bar there. Uh, what you can do, if you're gonna use a battery bar, just have no battery, because you have the battery bar. And also you can have it at the bottom of your nav bar. Um, I'm gonna put it on my status bar there. Charging animation. 
and that's also this is nice brightness control double tap to sleep um, this is something I use often if you slide to the right or left you can control the brightness double tap sleep there we go uh, if you want status traffic bar monitor outgoing incoming you'll be able to see your data exactly how it is notification count this will show you the number of notifications how many emails you have how many Facebook updates how many tweets you have all that good stuff uh, enabled disabled I'm um, showing that 4G network there notification drawer some extra options here um, let me go ahead and clear all of this uh, if you I don't have a SIM card inserted but if you do have a SIM card inserted such as it will show you your carrier AT&T or T-Mobile you can change it um, to whatever you like there instead of uh, showing the carrier stuff um, quick settings this is where you can customize um, your quick settings and add new buttons get remove them um, all that good stuff here all these different things uh, shake events I really like that one uh, I'll show you in a second but what I like to do is have that on and then shake my phone and turn on my torch uh, which is kind of neat I really like it also quick pull down right now you'll have to pull down with two fingers to get your quick settings now if you make that easier set that to the right or left so if you set it to the right it'll show you the quick settings left it will show you notifications I'm um, pretty simple stuff there and also lock screen um, battery around ring battery status um, screen rotation allow you to uh, rotate your screen uh, let me go ahead and show you those real quick so you see the battery ring around it um, so that also shows you battery life and there we go I can unlock it sideways uh, which is ideal interface here you can go ahead and add up to eight different slider targets in your shortcuts there let me go ahead and just add one here and add your favorite custom shortcuts this is one of the things I like about AOSP in general um, because you can customize your lock screen it is so much more advanced than any touch with stuff there we go very nice stuff you can add up to eight slider torch and this is very nice too another way to uh, enable torch you can hold down that button there uh, buttons there we go um, you can change what the buttons do in your lock screen uh, for example if you hold down the home button um, long press home you can have it go to the flashlight also so another way to add a shortcut you can do something else with it but there you go there's another way to put torch on and notifications um, I really like this uh, because because it shows you notifications enable uh, notifications all right this will show you uh, current notifications you have there and you saw the torch was notifying there let me go ahead and turn it off here there we go and active display this is similar to lock screen notifications I don't use it much but you can go ahead and mess with that widgets options um, navigation um, you can go ahead and add soft buttons if you want and add a bunch of different buttons that way you get a bunch of more stuff you can add here uh, very nice stuff you can add I believe you can add up to five and also ring targets if you have that enabled you'll be able to enable uh, ring targets all right is that working there we go those are ring targets when you go swipe up from the bottom through the home button um, you can go ahead and customize this also and add a bunch of different applications now this will only work uh, if you have the soft buttons working um, but most of you probably will turn this off uh, but I just want to show you those are additional options also you can set custom actions for your hardware keys uh, for normal press uh, long press and double tap so instead of having just four actions you can make that uh, tripled so into 12 different things you can do uh, very nice additional you can get pie controls change the trigger option to the right or left um, depending on your light, right handed or left handed you can go ahead and swipe to the left um, to trigger that and of course you can change all of these uh, buttons here and customize if you want to let's go to the second layer and oops 
let me go ahead and add a button here you can set to different custom applications um, so additional way um, there you go I can go to straight to my calendar now uh, to add shortcuts to your phone very nice stuff so a ton of way to add navigation shortcuts um, customization sidebars tab this is an additional one I really like this one this is actually one of my favorites um, app circle bar you can go ahead and add all of your favorite shortcuts that you want to access and if you hit the right edge of the screen um, you'll be able to uh, browse through all of your favorite apps uh, and simply launch them which is nice and let me go ahead and show you some other stuff app bar uh, similar to that this is sort of like a Windows uh, desktop PC where you can swipe from the left all right that's my pie ah um mix tab battery saver mode here ah um that will save you battery life you can have your phone um not using um save, saving battery by turning off a bunch of stuff uh, at set time so that is actually pretty good stuff on the go mode this is one of my favorite also um if you go to your power button you'll have on the go mode once you enable it and you'll be able to kind of walk and uh, see through your phone so you don't accidentally uh, run into somebody so very nice stuff and turn that off there I think that's a ton of options I just showed you oh I forgot to show you the coolest part about this ROM this is the only ROM that actually has a uh, full floating multi windows like paranoid Android ROM um, those ROMs just have floating over another app. This one actually can do multiple floating windows. Um, so let's say you open your Play Store uh, and your browser, and then you can go ahead and go into Recents, do a long press, put it into floating mode, and this will get you a floating uh, multi-window here, uh, which also you can snap to the top like this, make it smaller, get rid of it, um, and you can go ahead and add another one. Set it to floating mode here, um, so you have another floating mode here you can set this snap to the bottom and you have full multi uh, window working flawless um, this is the best implementation and this is why this ROM is so damn cool um, really like it and it's a little well it still works just fine actually there you go um, so definitely check it out love this feature and uh, if you if you have any other tablet devices I have C dash ROM running on my Nexus 7 it is freaking great uh, or bigger tablets because now you have full multi window using AOSP ROM um, I find that you actually get better battery life especially on my Samsung tablets I get much better battery life uh, with AOSP ROMs and with this I no longer need the multi window feature on my Samsung uh, tablets which is great now you can have it on all kinds of different devices um so definitely that's a really cool feature anyway definitely check it out for this week's round of the week love this rom i will see you guys soon as always don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxy s2 root.com oh yeah and thanks guys for watching my video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool rom reviews tips tricks and more and also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet and as always, I stay on Android.